home one back to the jewelry view and Newcastle's last game of uh, 2022 finished in a 0 0 draw with Leeds United. A very frustrating game. The first time we've dropped points at home in the league since Bournemouth in um, mid September. Um, just loads of wasted chances. And to be fair, it was just really frustrating. Like, Leeds, a lot of time wasting from them. Um, you know, the lack of stoppage time. I mean, I mean a, it was a ridiculous lack of form at stoppage time. But at the same time, you've got to give credit to the to Leeds and to Jesse Marsh they look reorganised they look well organised they defended very well uh, Meslier was excellent in particular just catching crosses but it was just frustrating from, from us um, if we look at the side that Eddie Howe went with it was the same team that beat um, Le Leicester 3-0 on um, Boxing Day um, the, the first half Bad chances. Uh, Wood took around Meslier, but uh, I think he just ran out of room for the shot. But um, could he have maybe squared it at Joel Linton? Um, shot a few chances. There was one from a corner which went just wide. Uh, just the set pieces uh, weren't working out for us. Um, you know, Burn had a chance he probably should have scored. Um, I mean the guy. I, I mean he still hasn't got his first goal for the club, which um, you'd think he would have had a goal at least, given how big he is as a centre back. Um, but um, second half, it was practically all Newcastle. Um, but Kevin just had all those chances, just could not take them. Wood. Had a chance he's in a lot of space. It just saved by Meslier. I mean, fair play. I was happy for him to start, given that he got a goal against Leicester, even if it was just a penalty. But, um, yeah, I think Callum Wilson's got to be come back in on um, Tuesday against Arsenal. Wilson did come on. He was better, but Leeds still kept him quiet. ASM came on. Uh, I think he came close to a goal when he cut in. Um, tried to create some chances uh, Murphy came on for Almiron later on didn't do any, didn't really do anything uh, Trippier set pieces I mean just weren't good enough a lot of them were caught by uh, Meslier I think Leeds' best chance came to Rodrigo um, and um, it was a good save from Pope he didn't have he didn't really have anything to do in that first half, second half, apart from that um, shot. Um, Longstaff had a chance, which he reached. He had a couple of chances, which just blazed over the bar. Poor from him. Um, I think Joel Linton had a shot, which went over as well. Um, but, um, yeah. Credit to Leeds, as I said before. Uh, even if we did get frustrated about um, them time wasting, if we did, even if we were frustrated with you know the referee, we should have we should have done better in the game. But um, we are still going to um, we're still unbeaten at home in twenty twenty two in this season going into the new year. We've only lost one game against Liverpool, and we all know about the stoppage time thing there. Um, in terms of other results, uh, Man City got held by uh, Everton. I mean, I'm, so it is kind of as you were in terms of where we are with Man City. Arsenal obviously won, so they've um, increased their lead at the top. Um, Spurs looks like they're about to lose against Aston Villa. I think it was two nil um, last time. Uh, I'd say I think the game will be done by the. I mean, the game will be done by the time this um, video comes out. But um, we'll be four points above them uh, now. Uh, Man United wants to close the gap in on us. Uh, I mean, I'm not too bothered about if we don't get Champions League. Like, if we get some European football for next season, I'd be that'd be absolutely fantastic. Even if it whether it is you know that Europa League, Europa Conference. Um. 
But yeah, I think we're record in 2022 and things that played 40 in all competitions. We've won 23, uh, drew 10, and that does include the Crystal Palace game that won on penalties. Um, we lost six games. Um, but yeah, um, we'll just have to go again. We'll just have to draw a line with this. It was just an off day. The, the win run at home wasn't going to last forever. You're going to get bad days. Um, and, um, we're still, I think, 12 games unbeaten. This is the most we've been unbeaten uh, in the league in a, in like um, just one season. Um, but um, yeah, just uh, have to move on to Arsenal away. It's going to be a difficult game. I would take a point down there. Uh, would I have even regardless of this result, considering how well they have done this, especially with how well they have done um, this season to be leading the table. I know Man City are probably still the title favourites, I think, off the um, on odds checker. I think I think it's still the bookies' favourites of the title, Man City, but uh, Arsenal have done very well, so it won't. So it certainly won't be an easy game at the uh, Emirates. Um, I mean this. I'm hearing Trippier's apparently out, could be out that game, which is definitely a blow, especially with um, Emil Kraft's long-term injury. Um, apparently, he's only that I'm hearing he's only got what four yellow cards in the Premier League, unless he's had one in the Carabao Cup. Uh, I mean, let us know if he has, because I'm like that counts towards it. Because I think it was it yesterday's game, Liverpool, um, Man City, and. I think Chelsea's booked in the league. Um, I mean, if he is eligible to play, but it's just the one yellow away from a ban, then um, maybe I'd rather he picked it up against Arsenal. And um, because he would, because I think regardless, he probably wouldn't uh, start against uh, Sheffield Wednesday. I think he'd go with uh, having Man kill, especially with the Leicester game, with it being. being in between the right between the Arsenal um, game and then um, the cup quarter final against um, Leicester, but um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say for this match review. Uh, probably forgotten a lot because I was been really hungover since last night, uh, going out for New Year. And I just want to say Happy New Year to all my subscribers. Um, we'll see what um, twenty twenty three brings for this channel and. Um, the club, of course. Hopefully some silverware. European football. Um, for next season. But yeah, don't forget to hit like on the video. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my social media pages in the description below. Thank you for watching. And um, I'll uh, see you um, probably next week for the Arsenal review.